Alrighty, folks, I thought I'd save the best for last, or maybe the best, I don't know. Um, I thought this version of uh, Trapjaw would be pretty neat. I remember we saw him, like, I think a preview of him, was it a year ago? Or was it last summer? I can't remember. I know we saw something about him, me and my buddy Overlord, a long, long time ago, but I can't remember when it was. I'll have to ask him. He know better than I would, or would remember better than I would. But yeah, it's a mini comic trap jaw. They don't, they don't, I don't think they advertise them like that, but there you go, man. Yep, that's a pretty much the uh, same thing, man. So really, really cool. Um, plus, this mini comic from back in 82 was uh, drawn by Mark Texaria, who also did like go, he's worked on Ghost Rider and stuff like that, man. When they had the Danny Catch era, which was one of my favorite eras, and when I was introduced to the character in junior high. Anyways, back in the 90s, but yeah, here we go. Trap Jaw Evil and Armed for Combat, 40th Anniversary sticker. So that's cool. Once again, you got awesome art in the back with Axel Jimenez. Let's see, the original interdimensional cyborg is literally a walking weapon of mass destruction. So yeah, there he is, like, taking a whooping on He-Man. Or putting a whooping on him, as I should say. So here you go, laser gun, uh, plug laser gun, hook, or pinchers into arm and then open and close for biting action. So yeah, there we go. Wave 10, man. King Randor, Gigantino, Whiplash, and Trap Jaw. Pretty good wave, man. Pretty good wave. Uh, it's hard to say if this would be a a, a shelf warmer wave at all. I don't think it will be. I, I think for King Randor, you got the option of uh, being able to customize. Uh, maybe even so for Gigantino, if you want to use some of his like body parts and stuff or whatever to make different customs. I think a lot of people. I don't want to use those figures. But then again, like I've said before in previous reviews of this wave, that, uh, that yeah, all I'm seeing around here is just um, naked Stratoses and uh, Jitsus and Buzz-Offs, man. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything else, man. It's, it's just like those seem to be warming the shelves around here. So now let's go ahead and get this guy open and check him out. Here we have him, folks. I like the colors, man. They pop a, a hell of a lot more. And um, it's just cool to have that mini comic version. He looks a little bit more, I guess you'd say brutish. I don't know. I mean, yeah, and he doesn't have the robot legs. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, he's got regular warrior boots. He's got, a, you know, different colored panties. So it's like a black and it's like a maroon with a, whatever, a burgundy with a black stripe. So that's pretty cool. You got different um, armor. You don't, you don't have the bright green belt you have a silver belt you got silver gauntlets silver robot arm and silver attachments and silver chest plates so yeah pretty freaking cool man i like them a lot we're gonna go ahead and give them the good old blaster gun like we see in the mini comics so that's cool so yeah man just once again i think it was my buddy norseman carter like a long time ago when i first got the first one that Told me how to actually articulate his arm that he could work with a little bit more. I didn't really realize that when I first got it. So shout out to him for that. And yeah, a little tight on the, the head joint right there. But that's cool, man. Yeah, he looks rad. He looks cool, man. I like this version. Especially if you're a big fan of the mini comic. It's very cool. So yeah, man, that's pretty awesome, dude. Really, really digging this figure so far. I think it's a it's a rad version of Trap Jaw. Very fun, man, and go to reenact those mini comic scenes. But before we check out this mini comic, and before we check out, do a real quick synopsis of the old one, because if you refer to my Whiplash video, I've already read the comic. So if you want to hear me kind of stumble through that, yeah, we can you can do that. We have him standing next to regular Trap Jaw. Uh, yeah, man, the differences are big time, man. I, I like these, just the regular legs. It makes them little, look a little bit more, a uh, little bit more manly, I guess you could say. Uh, a little bit tougher because you're seeing more exposed flesh than you're seeing like armored stuff. So that, that to me, that says that, it, you know, he's a little bit more, um, I guess, dangerous or just not caring. A little bit more savage. We'll, we'll just say savage. Anyways, but uh, yeah, man, just totally different arms. As you can see, so that's cool too. I like the fact that he's just a little bit less of a cyborg, which is awesome. But in a weird way, it'd be kind of cool to see him in these colors as well with this body. That'd be kind of cool too. I don't know if that ever happened. That might be way, like, way too many variants, but 
you look at how many variants we have of Skeletor and He-Man, you know, so kind of make it would make sense, you know, but anyways, either way, I like both of them. They're both pretty cool, but I'm really starting to dig this mini comic version, man. Very, very awesome. Very, very cool. And uh, before we dip into the old mini comic, I've got to do this real quick synopsis run through of this one. So yeah, um, good old, is it uh man at arms, Digitino make a, I guess a space bridge or a portal from uh, Trifexia to good old uh, Eternia. They're attacked by Whiplash and Skelcons and good old Trapjaw. So Tila, Man at Arms, and King Randor enter in the fray against the Skelcons. And then Digitino faces off with uh, Trapjaw and Whiplash. Totally kicks their butts using his. Uh, mathematical supercomputer powers and stuff or processing uh he wins and then uh, you have sun man bidding he-man a farewell as uh digitino and sun man take off to trifexia and then it ends with uh the snake men in the shadows so we'll be getting them soon that'll be a another wave of snake men so that'd be really awesome and then this friday i guess we have regular colored grizzlor which will be released on through um mattel creations hopefully that'll be easy but i guess if you get in you can get the first run of it. That's cool. But after that, it'll be made to order. So that's not so bad. If you miss out, you still won't have to suffer through scalper prices, which is actually pretty cool. And sometimes you only pay double. So it's not always too bad. No pun intended with that. Sorry. Yeah, let's take a look at this old mini comic from 1982, The Menace of Trap Jaw. So here you have uh, Skeletor trying to bust in the Gray Skull. He uses his uh, magic powers for like a portal. He goes through the portal, but he just sees, um, it's like a weird transparent image or whatever. It's like, uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and read this, man. It's going to take a while, but we'll go ahead and read it, man. Within Castle Grayskull is a secret power. A secret of power. A power that could make the evil Skeletor the ruler of all Eternia. And so, for perhaps the hundredth time, he, <laughs> he tries to break through the mystic barriers that seal the castle... And for the hundredth time, Skeletor fails. So the Master of Destruction hatches a plan. Or will it succeed or will it unleash the menace of Trapjaw? It is hopeless. All my power cannot open these gates. But there must be a way. There must. Well, do I know that there are worlds upon worlds in space and time? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps I can enter the castle without using the gates. Of course, I will enter the other dimension take 10 paces forward and then return to Eternia where I will reappear inside the walls of Castle Grayskull. This must succeed the first time for I may never be able to recreate the spell that allows me to enter this new dimension. Such are the bizarre workings of magic. Some dark black magic. Anyways, what a strange land. This is close. Or this is. But behold, so closely is it aligned to Eternia that an image of Castle Grayskull stands before me. Even here, the castle resists me. It will take longer to materialize the mystic portal than I thought, but I shall prevail. Stop, villain. Eh, who knows me here? Must get away. Cannot let them catch me. Watch out, fool. He'll not escape us this time. Get out of my way. Oof, I'm going back to Eternia through the first portal. But I'll still be outside the castle. Must try to hold my ground. Zap, zap. They have too much firepower. I can't hold out. But I won't go down alone. I, what? What's this strange corona of energy? I'm, I'm going. And then he's gone. The Royal Palace of Eternia. It has been almost an hour since the first terrible concussion reverberated through Eternia. Now yet another strikes as Eternia's greatest heroes hasten toward an urgent meeting. Another shockwave, He-Man. What can be the cause? Magic, fair one. I fear I see Skeletor's hand in this. Great heroes of fate of... Great heroes, the fate of Eternia depends upon you. Each shockwave is more devastating than the one before. The disturbance has been pinpointed at Castle Grayskull. You must end this threat ere it destroys our world. And here you have uh, King Randor. So 
this comic with Digitino and this one, they're kind of, they have a lot of similarities. A lot of similarities. Soon at the Mystic Castle of Grayskull, He-Man Skele Skeletor is here, as you foretold. Yes, but he, he appears as bewildered as perhaps he is not. Suddenly, we're falling. Another shock wave. Speak, foul Skeletor. Are these titanic blasts your work? Hold, He-Man. It is the castle itself which emits the shattering concussions. And look, whatever is responsible steps forth. Who, who is he? Who am I? Ha <laughs> ha! Only a criminal on my own world. But now, with the power from the castle, I am a god. And this shall be the first world that Trapjaw con conquers. Before you can conquer Eternia, you must defeat the mightiest heroes. Ha! If such as you are the best this world can muster, then it is the boom, the boom, uh, already won. No, fiend, you will pay for that blow, so declares He-Man, kapow. Well struck, hero, but now it is my turn. Arg! No, I will not permit this. You have attained power which is rightfully mine. I must be the one to destroy He-Man. Skeletor must be the conqueror of Eternia. Zvram. This power is mine, Skeletor, and I will use it to return your spell to you. Ha! Yar! Zil, zil, zil. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I am unbeatable. Skeletor, much as the idea repels me, we must work together. A. Hated He-Man. I cannot allow such a fool to hold the power of Grayskull. And you, and only you, can help me stop him. You and your half of the power sword. Follow my lead, villain. Ha! Fools, you dare to attack me head on? Swash. Not you, knave, but the mystic power that feeds you. Z ah, no! Unable to withstand the uncombined might of He-Man and Skeletor, Trapjaw is a threat no more. But then, now is my chance. The castle lies open before me, and none stand in my way. Take heed, hero. Skeletor is going to... No, it closes too soon. Curse this castle. Ha, thwart it again, evil one. Give up, you'll never enter Castle Grayskull. And curse you, He-Man. I'll make you swallow those mocking words. But now I depart, taking this blunderer with me as a new servant. Thus, the encounter is not a total loss. He vanished once again. Skeletor's escaped us. A hey, good, he good man-at-arms. The fates are with the evil one. Still, we have won a great victory and saved Eternia from the terrible menace. And I would hate to be Trapjaw when he awakens and Skeletor's vengeful clutches. Ho, 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 ho. Ha, 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 ha. Well, there you go, man. That's the, that's the origin of this version of, of good old Trapjaw. Got to get into that. You can't just have this figure because, I don't know, I think most people are going to know that that's mini comic Trapjaw, but some might not know. So, yeah, it's kind of fun, once again, stumbling through those comics. And it kind of... Um, it takes you back to the days too from when I was a kid and you first like picked these figures up and checked out the comics whether you could read or not I could read by then but anyways um it's uh it, I don't know it gave you a little bit more insight into the character and it just made you appreciate the characters more that's why the characters I believe like Trapjaw and Triclops are still big time fan favorites because they had really good comics to go with them Especially even like Manny Faces and stuff like that too. And good old, um, just this whole line of comics that he did were really, really, really good. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching y'all and have a good one. All right, later.